guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys uh, what is on my desk and in my drawers. This desk is where I paint my nails. This desk is where I record videos and where I take pictures of my manicures. So I'm gonna share with you guys everything that's on this desk plus what is in all of the drawers. I found this desk in a thrift store and I was lucky enough because it has a really large working surface area which is what i was looking for the color is not my favorite i i do plan on painting this black and spray painting the handles gold just so that it could go or flow a little bit better with the furniture that we have in the house plus it has it has really pretty hand painted details on it but it's just a little bit a little juvenile so let me bring the camera this way oh. And everything that's on here is is not permanent just because I need to buy more storage but this is what this is what I've been working with as of late okay over here I have my fossils in a rack I usually keep my fossils in a rack on the walls but I haven't put anything up on the walls yet because I haven't decided where things are gonna go so for now my fossils in a rack is sitting here it does come in handy though because uh, I sit here to paint my nails and so I have the, a view of everything in front of me, which is really great uh, Right here. I have my out the door top coat. I have a little chapstick because I'm anal about <laughs> chapped lips And then I have a little uh, a little SD card right here this tabletop nail polish holder I bought from my gift on Amazon. It is the same seller that makes the really large um, nail polish racks that I used to have have up on my walls. So what's sitting on here uh, is the Oralise Metropolis collection. I just swatched this not long ago and posted them on my Instagram. I have polishes that I've recently worn and then I have polishes that I've recently recently bought. So I have Essie's Shine of the Times and then I saw the Shine from Moonshine Manny. I have two polishes that I bought from uh, Orally. This one is called Fruitant, Fruitant Flip, and this one is called Bronze Ambition. These two guys, they're from the Breathable line. I've never uh, tried the breath Breathable line, so I, I've been, I wanted to try a couple of polishes, but the reason why I bought this one in particular, which is what prompted me to look at the line in general, is because I saw this one and it reminded me of Retrograde from Orly, which I love. But they're not the same. This is a lot lighter and definitely more on the sheer side. I have not tried it on my nails, but I did swatch it on a nail wheel. This one is from OPI and this one is called Samurai uh, Breaks a Nail. And it seems to have a, a purple shimmer as well as a, a blue flash. Do you see that there? Two from Zoya. This one is called, is it Gem or Jen? Jen. I think it's called Jen. Look at how pretty this is. It reminds me of uh, Chopsticks and Stones. I should compare the two because it reminds me so much of it. And this one is called Olivera. I've been wanting this polish for a little bit now, so finally picked it up. And then the rest of the polishes are all polishes that I've recently worn. Let me move that. And then all of these right here are nudes from uh, Deborah Lippmann. They're minis. And I found, um, or I bought this whole collection from Costco. It's a Costco pack. Um, so let me move these guys out of the way. These are all of the polishes basically up until here. Everything that I've worn so far this fall. On this acrylic rack, I have project polishes that I have not touched since July. I you know from moving or packing moving unpacking and really not painting my nails as often um these have been neglected so my project polish has been struggling and then back here i just cleaned out all of these top coat bottles because i was either done with them or i was towards the bottom and they they'd gotten a little bit thick and so i cleaned out the bottles and filled them with my mama size out the door so all of these bottles right over here including this one this is the one that is currently in use i'll link the video down below where i i share with you guys how i clean old bottles and i think in that video i filled the bottles up with um cuticle oil the base kit that i have on here is from nail aid i took off the wrapper because i wanted to see how far down i was and surprisingly i'm not that far down considering I've been using this guy a lot. This top coat is from Sally Hansen, the Miracle Gel line. And 
then I have another base coat that I've been using from OPI. This is the um, Natural Nail Base Coat. I really like this guy. Over here, I have Vaseline. I freaking love Vaseline. I have a KB Shimmers Hide and Eek. Another polish that I recently wore, you guys will hear my experience in my next monthly manis video, a cuticle oil. My sister made this and gave it to me. This is made with olive oil and cloves. It smells really, really good. Three polishes that I recently mentioned in a video. I did a comparison between mainly these two, which is a two weeks notice from Moonshine Manny and one of my all time favorite polishes, which is Butter London's Two Fingered Salute. I'll link that video down below. This one right here is from Cert Colors and it's called Succulent Garden. And then another oil. <laughs> I have oil coming out of my, you know. This one is made with vitamin E and jojoba oil. And then I think I added this. This one maybe has, um, no, it doesn't have tea tree oil. I thought this was the one with, tea tree, with the tea tree oil tongue twister, um, but it's not. And then my battery is like 50 15% fantastic and then this is a tea light holder and I've been using this to pour out a little bit of um, acetone uh, to do cleanup uh, let's see okay this guy right here is just a tray I'm using it currently to hold my tripod I I shimmy things because I don't have a tripod that allows my camera to face directly down and close enough even um my smallest or my shortest tripod is uh is is too high still so if i want to make any close-up nail videos um that one's just a little bit too high so what i do is i grab another tripod which is a lot smaller but the legs are not strong enough to hold my camera i lay that one down here and have my camera facing down over here you know, you, you work with what you got. This thing right here, um, or actually let's continue on to here. These two lamps are from Target and they're both LED lamps. Uh, this one is an Otlite, which I bought quite a few years ago, I wanna say at Hobby Lobby. And I wanna, sh I'm, I'm pretty sure that I used a 40% off coupon because this guy's a little pricey. I've resorted to artificial lighting because the sun goes in and out or clouds, but I, I should say clouds okay they sneak up on me here in texas <laughs> one second it'll be really bright and then the next second it's super gloomy so i've had to rely on artificial lighting it's been working out really well i'm still figuring it all out once in a while i will bring out my ring light depending on the time of day if i need to adjust things and stuff like that i don't know if that's dirty or what I hope it's not. Back to my little tray. I have my glasses, Vaseline, a little nail buffer, a little SD card holder, and more Vaseline because I'm obsessed. These little boots here, they're for the garden, I think, um, but I use it as uh, to put my trash in. This um, this box here, I bought a, um, a mug, and um, a sunflower mug, and I really like the box, so I keep all of my cotton balls and cotton rounds. I'm running kind of low. I can't wait to finish these out. I hate these. These are from, I think, from the Target brand, uh, and some of these were Swispers. I don't think I have any Swispers left in here. And these are from the Target brand. I despise these. I bought them because I had not had a chance to go to CVS. CVS makes my, my favorite cotton rounds and cotton ovals. They're freaking amazing. They're a little bit pricier, but you don't get as much of the little lint. And then these have been torture. I've ha been having lint in my manicures for weeks and weeks and weeks. I can't wait to get rid of those, but you know, I got to finish them out. I bought them. I also have napkins. Um, and then I use that for cleanup also to wipe my brush on back over here is the lid to this container. It's breaking. I got to take this guy up cause I want to keep this as long as possible. Usually this just goes over here. And um, this uh, sits just right next to it, but when I'm using it, I put something underneath it just in case it spills or, or whatever. So there's that. Alcohol to clean my nails, lotion. It's not my favorite. I love the one from Userin, but I'm finishing this guy out. Um, let's see, I have jojoba oil. I have this lipstick holder because I don't have any storage for my makeup at the moment. So everything's sitting actually on the floor over there. Let's see. Let me show you all the crap I have right there. 
Do you see all my crap? Yeah. And that's not everything. I have, that's not, 99% of my makeup is sitting in a closet downstairs currently, actually. Okay, so I have lipsticks here, um, just random things. And then Hand Self from Burt's Bees. I like this one because it smells minty. I also really like it because it's, very moisturizing it's very rich it's very it leaves my hands very very greasy so i don't use this during the day i mainly use this at night or sometimes early in the morning and then i have a couple things here that i recently bought an eyeshadow from urban decay i'm showing you guys everything i don't even think you guys care about this stuff but this is the status of my desk right now so this pretty little little uh, shadow from urban decay it's called scorpio and then this little um, eyeshadow stick also these are too creamy um, and it, which is great for application but then they crease so much back here I have let's see a nose that I made while I was in school I sculpted this guy I have a clear polish from uh, wet n wild and then I have a nail art I need to put this in the drawer I also have um, just lotion my nail file crystal nail file from OPI and then I have my nail art bag this actually goes in one of these bags which I'll show you in just a moment okay I'm going on handheld mode here let me show you guys that corner because <laughs> as the status of my room right now which is fantastic this right here is holding um, all of my OPIs currently they usually go on the wall racks but because again I haven't decided where that's going this is where they're staying I'm not even pointing I don't know if I'm pointing at it but you see it right there right in that vicinity uh, that's one of my tripods right there in this drawer I have top coats base coats um, I think at some point I had all my matte top coats here and then all glossy top coats here that's gotten out of order so now they're kind of intertwined. They're having a party together. Uh, this one here is also a top coat. This is from LBK. I found this, I think I used it once or twice. I found this to be really thick and I think it took a while to dry, but I gotta keep trying it. This is a matte top coat from Orly. It came in, I think it came with the Metropolis collection. These are some dry drops. I need to try this. I don't know, I bought it and just haven't tried it. I have my INM top coats, one of which is the holographic and the other one's also holographic, but it's the Christmas edition. I don't know if that was a limited edition. I'm not really sure. I have some oil here and then more oil because I mentioned <laughs> I have oil coming out of my ass basically. And then base coats, peel off base coats, these. This is a yellow stopper from American Classics. And then I have the Naked Manicure and then my uh, sticky base coat from CND. Over here, I have my little mat um, that I use to put on my desk. So if in case I spill any acetone, then at least it is protected. So I have my little mat from Born Pretty. I am looking to um, get something a little bit larger. This one's not too big. It's kind of on the small side, but it's been working for me, so I haven't really uh, bought anything else. I have a ridge filler. I've been trying to use this here and there. Little toe dividers. I found these. I find these little toe dividers, the ones that are more jelly-like, are a little bit more comfortable on the toesies. And then I have a nail buffer, nail files. These are my last-minute desperate nail files when I lose my crystal nail file, basically which that shouldn't be going in there just like that. Um, and then I have another Revlon nail file. Uh, cuticle pushers, these are uh, wooden sticks. I have my little box here that I keep all of my tools. So my cleanup brushes, I have scissors in here, cuticle pushers, clippers, you know, nail clippers that I don't use on my nails, but I keep them just in case. Cuticle remover, this is from Blue Cross. Um, it, the, I use the I buy the big bottle from Sally Hansen and then transfer it onto this. And then I have my little clips here. I've lost two of them, I don't know how. And then a glass uh, shine top coat from Nail Aid. And another crystal nail file from OPX. because I love it. And then I, I have my old little container where I used to put my acetone. I just like this one <laughs> so much more, it just looks so pretty. 
It's like a big old diamond, right? This bottom drawer holds acetone, um, nail polish remover, the Blue Cross a cuticle remover. I need to go fill this guy up because I'm running super low. But I have had this for years. And I'm talking four years, maybe. I don't, you don't need very much. I mean, and it's already so inexpensive to begin with. I have a nail polish thinner here. And then this guy here, I made a video. I need to see if I still have the clips because I think I started editing and then never finished. This was during my move and I never uploaded the video. But anyways, this is a nail polish glamour base. I've been using this um, to thin out glitter, glitter polishes, I should say, that have gotten thicker. It works really well, um, but I don't, I feel like that those polishes have got some of them have gotten thicker again so it's just something that i've been playing around with on this side i have nail art stuff so the little baggie that i mentioned earlier i have um little stones and nail art brushes and more stones i have little stickers these are from cena nail creations you can find these at uh, sally's beauty supply these are really nice i also really like these these are really nice. They're just really delicate, so when I'm pulling them with the tweezers, I have to be extra careful. Otherwise, they just break very easily, but they're really cute. I bought these to use during the fall, and I mean, ask me. Ask me. I dare ya. <laughs> I dare you to ask me if I use these at all. Yeah, the answer is a, a big fat no. Never use them, so... But it's okay. Winter's not here yet, so I may still have a chance to use these guys at some point nail foils which i mentioned recently in a monthly manny's video this is my new obsession i want to buy like every variation there is out there because it's it's really nice it blings up the nails not blinks but adds so much interest to the nails and um i find this to be easier than stamping to be honest so anyways i've had fun with these so i want more I bought these little foils. They're very thin sheets of foils that you could put on the nails. I've just, I've yet to play with them. I have, you know, you would think I have, let me show you. I have this, this, and this. All for nail art. You guys watch my videos. How much nail art do I actually do? Yeah, not very much, and yet I have all of this stuff. Okay, I have toothpicks here, um, little glitters. These I found at Sally's Beauty. I have yet to try them. I actually really want to play with these. They look like so, so fun, right? Um, so these are for the nails and body. So I was thinking of doing like sugar nails or something like that. That would be really fun. I have um, some little, I don't know, nail... I don't know what these are confetti I got them from an indie maker when I ordered a polish just um, stickers letters AB crystals in here and then the little tool to apply them I have everything is so messy in here oh my god these little guys these are fun also I think I also bought these at Sally's Beauty uh, striping tape these I bought ages ago um, I think my babies were super babies. Basically, they were really, really small. I use these when I used to do my own um, acrylic nails. Uh, this little French tip thing here that came in one of my Orly Color Pass orders. And then more glitter for the nails. These I found at, I think it was a Dollar Tree. And it comes with the nail nail art pen but i don't really care so much for that more than i did the little glitter end so i want to try those guys out i bought a few of them um and then these little sponge things i don't know why i bought these actually i was thinking i could use them for you know to sponge on nail art but i'm not really sure if it'll work for that <laughs> um, i don't know uh, these are from olive and june they're just little stars and then just more I don't know. Let me show you guys. Same thing. Glitter, rhinestones, more stones. These are craft, basically. They're pearls. This drawer has more stuff. But this is geared more towards um, nail stamping, except for this. This I just bought. I just haven't used. It had, comes with a little stamper. So it's a crystal stamping kit. But what you're supposed to do is place your little stones on the stamper. And then I guess it's supposed to make it easier to keep things aligned. I don't know. Haven't tried it. I have sponges for gradients. And then uh, some tape. 
and stamping polishes and then back there I have um, acrylic paint so I have some acrylic paints for nail art I'm telling you I, I'm stocked for nail art I just don't do it and then I have my stamping plates over here and then this drawer holds all of my fake nail stuff because I'm obsessed okay so these wheels is just stuff that I've played with or swatched or whatever um, and then I have some putty here um, I have brushes that I have still I've yet still to um, um, swap the brushes out of my um, my Essie polishes and then I just have a bunch of fake nails in here so I really like these the little pointy ones I think they're really pretty let's see what what is this one more pointy ones yep I'm obsessed with those apparently and then this container that just opened and then over here I have glitters that I bought from girly bits years and years ago guys like I don't know how many years ago and of course is that a surprise it's bar glitter because <laughs> I think I'm the only human being that still loves bar glitter I don't know I love it in polishes okay this was at one point when I was playing around and making my own polishes basically and then I have some empty bottles in here also I totally forgot to mention, but I also have this monitor here, and this is what I use to connect to my camera so I can get a better view of what I'm doing, especially if the camera is facing down to my nails or a nail polish. It helps me see if I'm in focus, um, just little details like that that I can't really tell really of if the camera's a little bit further out. if um, from the viewfinder. The viewfinder is just a little bit smaller and so it's not too clear from my my little old eyes. So that's come in really handy. I don't know if I mentioned but I have this poster board here which is really helpful to have a, a, a white background when taking pictures because it brightens things up a little bit and it doesn't throw off the color so much. So I just have a poster board that I cut in half basically and that's what I've been using um, as my background for pictures and that's been working out really well uh. Is that low enough? All right So that is everything now I've made a bit more of a mess up here but That's okay. I hope I hope the footage works out. I hope that um, You guys got a really good view of everything that I, I have up here. Oh, I also have my my batteries for my cameras up here also is because i lose everything so i try to keep everything on the desk so, which makes it more it makes more of a more of clutter but if i put it somewhere else then i forget where i put it and so i keep everything with inside so that i can find it quickly i don't know in my mind it makes sense all right that is everything guys thank you so much for watching i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one